In the second lecture of the series on structural organization in animals, discussion will be made on connective tissue, muscular tissue and nervous tissue. In the first lecture of this series, uh, we have already talked about the epithelial tissues and its different types. Now, connective tissue. Now, what is connective tissue? Connective tissue, as the term suggests, it is the tissue. It is the tissue which connects different parts of the or different organs or different tissues of the body. It comprises much of the body that means you, a connective tissue is found in almost uh, the throughout the body and most abundant type of tissue it's most abundantly found tissue in the body out of all the four types now its main functions main functions include it bind structures it binds structures that means it helps in attachment of different structures of the body it provides support and protection it fills spaces empty spaces is filled by connective tissues it stores fats it produces blood cells it protects against infections and helps repair tissue damage now the types of connective tissues includes bones cartilages ligaments tendons which we often keep on hearing now, ligaments, tendons are the types which will bind structures, which helps in attachment of muscle to muscle, bone to muscles or bone to bone. Now, it also provides support and protection like the bones, cartilages, they provide support, they provide protection to the body. It fills spaces like say blood, uh, they fill spaces, stores fat, that is the adipose type of connective tissue, it stores fat produces blood cells that is the bone marrow cells the red uh, the blood it produces blood cells protects against infection that is by producing wbc white blood cells monocytes lymphocytes are produced uh, in the within the connective tissue itself and it also helps in repair of tissue damage so these are the main functions of connective tissue <clears throat> now the connective tissues can again be divided into different types. Now, before going into the types of the connective tissue, uh, we, we would uh, like it will be better if we know that or we try to learn that the uh, connective tissues, the connective tissues, they're made up of cells, definitely cells, as also some uh, some proteins. That means the connective tissue is. Uh, Type of tissue which is made up of not just the cells, individual cells, but a collection of cells. But along with it, there is also present some fibrous proteins which are called as collagen or elastin. Collagen or elastin within it, the cells will be present. Now, these fibers, this collagen or elastin, it provides a strength, elasticity, it provides flexibility to the tissues. Now, the cells of connective tissue also secrete some or produce some polysaccharides, carbohydrates, complex carbohydrates, that is polysaccharides, which accumulate within the tissue. They accumulate and uh, they act as a ground substance. That means the uh, cells will be embedded within that ground substance. It's like the matrix. It acts like a matrix or the ground substance upon which the uh, uh, cells will be present. They will be floating or they will be attached upon the, the cells will be attached upon that matrix or the ground substance. That ground substance is produced by what? It is produced by the collagen, elastin and the cells together. So uh, now depending upon the matrix mainly the depending upon the matrix connective tissue can be divided broadly into three types the three types are the loose connective tissue dense connective tissue and the specialized connective tissue so broadly connective tissue is divided into three types based on the type of matrix so loose connective tissue will include those tissues those type of connective tissue 
where the matrix is very loosely present. It's almost like a fluid. It's almost like a fluid in a semi-fluid, so to say, the ground substance. The types are areolar tissue and adipose tissue. <coughs> areolar tissue, which is found just below the compound epithelium, that is the skin. If you can recall from the previous lecture, uh, the skin, which is the compound epithelium, just below it is present the areolar tissue. And adipose tissue lying further below it as also uh, uh, inner to the epithelial tissues, which includes many fat cells. These two are categorized as loose connective tissue. Why? Because they are, the cells are arranged in a semi-fluid ground substance. Then the second type, that is the dense connective tissue. These are arranged, the cells are arranged very compactly, they are packed tightly, they are packed. Uh, that is why uh, within the dense matrix, that is why they are referred to as dense connective tissue. Again, uh, the dense connective tissue, now the fibers, as mentioned, the fibers are very compactly arranged. If the fibers are arranged very irregularly, there are some types which are arranged very irregularly in an irregular manner, that means not in a very systematic manner, then uh, th those will be called maybe as elastin and reticulum. Then the regularly arranged fibers, they include tendons and ligaments. These are the uh, two types of dense, regularly arranged connective tissue, tendons and ligaments. Now, tendons are the tissues which helps in attachment of skeletal muscles to bones. So, skeletal muscles to bones are attached with the help of tendons and ligaments are the ones which helps in attachment of bone, one bone to the second bone or they help in attachment of the bones, the skeletal framework of the body. Now, the third type of connective tissue, which we call a specialized connective tissue. Specialized connective tissue includes cartilage, bone, as also blood. Cartilage, bone and blood are included in the specialized type of connective tissue. So, here, the when the ground substance is solid, then they are cartilage and bone. And if the ground substance is completely fluid, then it will be blood, the type of connective tissue. So let us uh, learn a little more on connective tissue. So here we have the figure to depict connective tissue. So here loose connective tissue, which lies under the skin. Under the skin, as I already mentioned, areolar tissue. Now areolar tissue, it contains <coughs> the areolar tissues, they have a special type of cell called as mast cells. These mast cells, the mast cells, they release chemicals, histamine, serotonin, they release these chemicals which produce inflammation in the body, inflammatory reactions. That means if you are, suppose an allergen attacks the body, any sort of allergen attacks the body, then what will happen? The mast cells here, these are the mast cells. Okay, these mast cells, they will start secreting some chemicals. Those chemicals will trigger the defense system in the body. So, they will come and act in that particular region. Sometimes you can experience, we experience swelling when there is an insect bite or you come across any allergen, you uh, experience some itching or uh, like swelling. So that is due to the action of the mast cells, which is, uh, which falls under areolar connective tissue. Now below the areolar connective tissue is present the adipose tissue, which is also a type of loose connective tissue that is made up of fat droplets. The cells are, have depositions of fats. So the fatty layers, they are actually adipose tissues. They help in insulation of the body and uh, protecting, also protecting the body against any stress and strain. Then we have <coughs> the other types like say the fibrous connective tissue. 
the fibrous connective tissue here it's mentioned as fibrous connective tissue fibrous connective tissue will come under dense connective tissue here the example is given of ligament there are two types as mentioned in the previous slide uh, uh, tendon and ligament so the ligament which attaches one bone to another so here you can see here it's shown it helps in attachment of one bone to another and here uh, the the, they are regularly arranged. These are the fibers which are regularly arranged and the cells are embedded within them. The collagen fibers, as you can see, they are regularly arranged. Then, similarly, will be tendon. But tendon, what is the function? The function of tendon will be to join a muscle with a bone. Then, the specialized connective tissues includes three types, blood, cartilage, and bone. Now, blood, the matrix, as I already mentioned, it is fluid it is pure fluid the matrix the ground substance which we call as plasma now the plasma it contains the cells of connective tissue which includes the formed elements that is white blood cells red blood cells lymphocytes all these are uh, floating within the uh, fluid matrix that is the plasma so this is also a specialized type of connective tissue then we have cartilage which is also a specialized type of connective tissue here the matrix matrix is solid the matrix is solid and pliable which helps in come elastic that means it is elastic the matrix is no solid it is elastic and uh, the cells the cells which are present within the matrix they are called as chondrocytes and they are enclosed within some cavities they are called as chondrocytes then the bones the cartilages where do you find cartilages are found in like say here as is shown in the knee region in the pinna of the ear in the nose we can find cartilages this region if you can uh, we we know that they are quite flexible so they give flexibility elasticity to the particular region then we have the last type of specialized connective tissue that is bones bones also have a hard matrix upon which the cells are embedded and the cells they are called as osteocytes the cells are referred to as osteocytes and the function of bones as we all are quite familiar it provides support to the body it provides the structural framework of the body then uh, the bone marrow in some bones okay in the inside the bones there is a soft tissue which is called as bone marrow it is also a part of the connective tissue they help in formation of the blood cells so in some way or other the bones and the blood are related because within the bones the uh, cells which will form blood will be uh, created or will be originated so these are the different types of connective tissues next we go to muscle tissue now muscle tissue as you are familiar here the picture shows these are the muscles now the muscles are joined with the bones with the help of tendons tendon which is a type of connective tissue so here you can see this is a muscle now the muscle again is in turn made up of fibers okay they are made up of fibers so which are arranged in bundles specific bundles this forms the muscle the muscle fascicle or bundle of cells forming each cell known as sarcomere each cell is called as sarcomere they are slightly modified compared to the normal cells so here each fiber again this is the sarcomere skeletal muscle fiber or the cell also referred to as sarcomere now the muscle tissue is also categorized into three types depending upon the location skeletal muscle which is always attached with the bones with our skeletal system it has striations striations means alternate light and dark bands as you can see here alternate light and dark bands these bands are actually meant for it is due to overlapping it shows dark bands and wherever there is no overlapping it shows light color why is it present it is present to provide flexibility to provide so that the muscles can contract and relax and thereby carry out movement in the body 
so and it is voluntary voluntary means we can move the skeletal muscles on in our with our will voluntarily if you wish to move your hand we can do that so it is directly under the action of our brain that means according to our thought process the function of skeletal muscle happens so if you want to uh, close your fist then what will happen there will be contractions within this muscle fibers so thereby you are closing your fist if you want to open it up it is in a relaxed state the next type of uh, muscle tissue is the smooth muscle smooth muscles are unstrated they do not have this alternate light and dark band usually they are found in our internal organs and are involuntary they are involuntary there we cannot move these type of tissues with our will they are controlled involuntary by the brain they are present in our internal organs and the cells the cells are spindle shaped unlike the uh, skeletal muscles where the cells are tubular and also multinucleated and in smooth muscles they are uninucleated single nucleus in each cell the third type of muscle tissue is the cardiac muscle cardiac muscle term implies it is the muscle that forms the heart exclusively it is found in the heart they are they have striations but they are branched unlike the first two skeletal and smooth muscles cardiac muscles are branched they are uninucleated like our smooth muscles they occur in the walls that means they make up the um, heart it is involuntary involuntary means it is not under the control of our will we cannot control the beating of the heart movement of the heart it is an autonomous organ autonomous organ means it can regulate its own activity so these are the three types of muscle tissue skeletal muscle which is attached to the bones smooth muscles which are found in internal organs and cardiac muscles which are found exclusively in the heart next we have the neural tissue now the neural tissue it is made up of neurons and neuroglia neurons are cells these are rather the largest cells the uh, largest type of cells found in the body now the neurons they are very specially designed modified they have a large cell body with the nucleus and other cell organelles which is again which has extensions the plasma membrane has extensions in the form of dendrites here yeah? these are the dendrites then <clears throat> it is an extended portion called as exon which again branches towards the tip uh, which are called as the fibers the extended fibers now what will happen the nerve the endings here the uh, the endings in the exon will be connected with the dendrites of another exon so that is how they are interconnected with each other so they form the nerves that way and in between the neurons in between the neurons you find a type of cell which is called as neuroglia neuroglia which acts as the supporting cell uh, uh, which makes up more than one half of the volume of the neural tissue in our body so neuro neuroglial cells they uh, help to protect and support the neurons they help to support the neurons from collapsing or also uh, they have been interconnecting the neurons so that there is proper transmission of the impulses now the nervous tissue they the neurons that is they can be motor neurons or they can be uh, uh, receptor neurons now the neurons what is the function their function is to uh, receive the stimulus transmit to the brain and from the brain to relay it to different parts of the body and accordingly the body functions so here this is a microscopic structure of nervous tissue here you can see these are the neurons this is the cell body and the processes here these are the extensions exons and dendrites how they are interconnected with each other and in between these dark spots all these dark spots that you see these are the glial cells or neuroglial cells that helps in transmission of impulses definitely as also in uh, attaching the neurons with each other that is supporting and protecting the neurons so function of neural tissue is to 
transmit electrical impulses which will be transmitted throughout the neuron. Now, how these impulses are transmitted, we have to discuss it completely in a separate chapter. In an upcoming lecture, that will be discussed how the uh, uh, impulses are transmitted. So, now finally again, uh, coming to the end of the types of tissues, we have already come to the type, uh, we have discussed all the types of tissues, epithelial, connective, muscle and neural tissue. Now, just to conclude, these are the different types of tissues, the locations in different regions of our body. So, here you can see, this is the simple squamous epithelium, epithelial tissue, pseudo-stratified ciliated columnar epithelium found in the respiratory system, simple squamous epithelium found in the air sacs of the alveoli, then uh, simple cuboidal epithelium found in the nephrons, then we have the simple columnar epithelium found in the intestine. Already we have talked about all this. Then we have the cardiac muscle as we have talked. Okay, it is found in the uh, heart, the cardiac muscle, then the muscular tissues that is. Then the smooth muscles found in the internal organs, the skeletal muscle found in the, uh, uh, attached to the bones in the limbs. Uh, we find it in the limbs more, more so. Then we have the other types, the nervous tissue found in the brain as well as the nervous component, the neural component in the spinal cord also it is found and in the nerves. Then we have the blood, the connective tissue, blood. Then we have adipose tissue which is found uh, just below the areolar tissue, blood which is the main circulatory fluid of the body which transmits, which helps in transport of nutrients, which helps in transport of gases in the body, uh, oxygen as well as carbon dioxide. Bone, which is the type of connective tissue, the supporting framework of the body. Cartilage, which also helps in supporting bones of the body. Then again, here it's shown the fibrous connective tissue, uh, that is, which uh, fibrous connective tissue, that is the ligaments and tendons. So, these are the different types of animal tissues that we had to learn epithelial, connective, muscle and neural tissue. Epithelial tissue which is divided in a simple and a compound simple further divided into squamous, cuboidal, columnar and ciliated. Then we have the, uh, also we have the glandular epithelial tissue. Then we have the connective tissue which is again divided into loose, dense and specialized. So on the loose we have areolar tissue, then we have uh, areolar tissue and also we have the uh, adipose tissue. Then uh, on the dense we have the ligaments and tendons, then specialized we have the bone, we have uh, cartilage, then we have blood. So, these are the, the blood. So, these are the specialized connective tissue. Then in the muscle tissue, we have the cardiac muscle. So, we have the cardiac muscle, we have the skeletal muscle and we have the smooth muscles. And the nervous tissue, the neurons and the glial cells. So, that is uh, all about the structural organization in animals uh, with the different types of tissues. Thank you.